I want to talk a little bit more about trust. I agree with your dad, what he was telling you. What I would have said was, I would have, again, paraphrased the great President Ronald Reagan. He used to say, when remember when the Soviets, we were going to dismantle uh, the, our arsenal and all of that nuclears. And Reagan said, we will trust, but verify. So bear with me. When I go in and what I teach leaders to do is, look, you have to you have to have a zero tolerance mentality for defective character and integrity. And I tell people I, I, I'll forgive anything, but I will never forgive bre intentional breaches I, or breaches, therefore, of character and integrity. If you do that, you're probably on your way out <clears throat> that day. You know, once we, we know that you've done it. Uh, other than that, um, I need to trust you and you know, explain to him and all of that. And I do trust you, but I'm going to supervise. Now, right. that said, I, I go into, I tell people, Randy, and I want to get your thoughts on this. I think what your dad was saying is assume that people are trustworthy. Correct. As a leader, you have to monitor, observe, evaluate, and supervise. And eventually some people will surface, not so much that they're not trustworthy, but that they need more supervision than others has nothing to do with trust. They just, they, they, they need help. So I'd like to get your thoughts on that because you're talking on this podcast right now and some leaders have grown up or are in an environment where there's not too much trust from their leader to them, or they have trusted in the past and been burned badly. And my premise is you show me a leader that doesn't trust and at some point he or she did, and boy, they got that hatchet right in the, between their shoulder blades, 